Hi everyone, today I will be unboxing Key's latest kinetic novel, Loopers. The scenario is written by Yukishi Zero Nana and the art is by Mochizuki Ke. And at first I didn't think I was going to pick this up, but I watched the KSL online live that occurred this year. The opening song is by Sana from Sajo no Hana. She actually performed in the KSL online live that I watched this year that occurred maybe a month or so ago. And I was immediately drawn to her when she said that she was so excited to receive work from Ki since when Little Busters first came out that was sort of her favourite game and her favourite Ki work is still Little Busters so for me that was something really nice to hear and as a Little Busters fan myself I just thought you know what I really need to pick this up and support the artist so I picked it up and considering that the Shokai Gen Deban comes with a soundtrack I just knew that I needed to pick it up before the release date so I did and I'm actually really looking forward to playing this. There were of course tapestries and posters as the Tokuden but I ended up going for the acrylic coaster. Firstly I'm not actually familiar with the characters yet since the game hasn't I haven't played the game yet so I wasn't really too keen on picking up tapestries just yet and secondly I already have a lot of keys tapestries on my wall so I thought I'd get something a bit smaller and so I went for the Tokuten Bonas from Melon Books and that was this acrylic coaster and taking a look at the coaster it's actually a really nice design I've really taken a liking to Mochizuki Ke's art as well I wasn't that familiar with them until Lupus was announced but I'm really glad that they were able to work with keys since I think their art is really amazing and also the fact that it's quite a different look for key as well. I think the fact that they're really venturing out with the kinetic novels this year, especially with something like Loopers, which is quite different, and of course with Yukishi Zero Nana as well. I, I just think it's something quite different for them, which is a good thing. And it seems as though you can actually display this too. On the front of the box, we have the main illustration of Loopers with both the logo and the main character which is Mia and Lupa's written underneath that as well. This sort of infinity looping symbol is used on the box in a couple of places as well and at the bottom of the box it just says kinetic novel since this is a kinetic novel and not a visual novel so there are no choices as such it's just one straight story that has one ending. And the side of the box we just have Key's logo along with the Looper's logo again with Lupa's written there. And on the back of the box we just have an introduction to the characters and the story. So it has the sort of main slogan of sorts of the game which is Honto no takaramo no sadashi ni iko and uh, just an introduction to the story as well. So they're all sort of looking for treasure but they're stuck in a loop and they do know that they're stuck in a loop so I'm not too sure where this story is going to go so I'm looking forward to actually playing it and when this first got announced everyone sort of was calling it the Little Busters copy which I do get especially with the character that's very obsessed with muscles I think we all know who that is based from but regardless it is quite different to Little Busters as well I'm supposing so I'm looking forward to trying it. The actual design and layout of all the images and patterns on the box as well is really nice. I think whoever did that did a really good job. And we have the characters which is Mia, Taira, Hiruda, Leona and Simon. And I'm pretty sure there were a couple of others as well that aren't here but these are the main characters I think. There's also the staff so of course the scenario is all by Yukishi Zero Nana and there's Bokaru which is by Sana which I'm probably the most excited about and there's also uh, music by Urito Shinji and Don Maru which again is a great combo so I'm really looking forward to hearing the soundtrack. And one of the bonuses of the Shokai Gen Teban is this Looper's log note and this is a art book of sorts and I just had a flick through it and there is an entire gallery of every single CG including the ending one so I won't show those in case anyone doesn't want to see them but and the master up illustration in particular is really pretty I love the lighting so there's an introduction to the characters in here as well and somewhere I just thought was really nice was the staff comments at the end. There's also a rough gallery there too. But these staff comments, like I was saying earlier about Sana from Sajo no Hana and um, her being a Little Busters fan and then being able to sing for Key years later, I really do love this kind of story. Yurika from Soul Pockets had the same sort of thing. Just people who already loved Key in the first place who then get to work for them years later, I really like that. 
there's all these people coming together. One of the people that worked on the BGM was Shoryu and even they loved Ki during their school years and they were really happy to be able to work on loopers and they never thought that they'd be working with Ki so that's really nice to see. There's also down here as well uh, saying that the reason why they became a composer in the first place was because of Air. So this is really lovely to see. It's, it's like a massive labour of love, this game, to see people who are originally Key fans who then never thought they'd even work for Key and then being able to create this game. I just think it's really nice. So I, I'm looking forward to playing it for that reason. But it's just really nice to see everyone talking about this game and it seems like everyone worked really hard on it. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. And this is the Looper's original soundtrack. I'm not sure if this will be having an actual release at some point since this is only with the Shokai Gente Bang of this game, so if you didn't pre-order it, it won't come with this. I'm personally really looking forward to listening to this. This is the reason why I picked up this game, really, to get this. This is the track list on the back of the CD, and in particular, I'm looking forward to hearing the opening with Sana. And finally, the game disc itself. It just has the same cover art as the front of the box, and it just comes with the typical technical manual, and there is the disc itself. And again, the design for the box and the disc and everything is really cool. I really like the bright tones that they've used for it. It's very different to other keyworks, so it's nice to see. Overall, this is everything that came with Loopers. I'm really looking forward to actually starting this game and finishing it. Apparently, it's not that long. It's quite short, and considering it is a kinetic novel, I'm not surprised. But apparently, it is a good story and does feel very complete, so... I'm looking forward to seeing that for myself and of course seeing all of the CGs in context too since I did just see them all in the art book there and hearing the music as well. And this is one of many kinetic novels that he will be coming out with in the near future so it's very exciting to see them working on all of these games and with people that really care about the brand so much. So I'm really glad that I bought this actually and even just to have on display actually looks really nice as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to share more videos like this with you all soon. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!